the idea of an art robbery had been around for a while, but it was going to be something that I would do, and I didn't, couldn't really work out how I would do that. And then over the years, the shows have changed to really me facilitating other people's experiences rather than just doing stuff myself and going, hey, look at me. So that idea had been floating around. And then I wanted to do something with perceptions of the elderly. I'd had, I'd had a experience where I'd, um, an old a lady had died, an old lady had died in the road that I lived in, and her husband, who'd never really, didn't really know anybody, had always been very quiet, suddenly had to start engaging with neighbours. And, and I did think, here's somebody that was, to me, more or less invisible, with extraordinary stories to tell. And that invisibility is a big part of the show. It's sort of using that as a, as a strength. I propose a wager. I'll tell you the painting that I'm going to steal, right. the day that it will happen on, okay. the exact time that it will occur. I'll even give you a picture of the person who's going to steal it, because okay. it won't be me. And you can hire in whatever security you'd like. I know the painting's worth quite a bit of money. And you can pass all that information on to your security. But I'll still get away with it. The main challenge we had was finding a gallery, finding someone to be on board for it, uh, finding someone to make that bet with, that wager that is, uh, goes through the whole show. That was, that was the trickiest part. Uh, OK, don't worry. Um, uh, I'll try someone else. Semester, yeah, that's an idea. Yeah, let, let's try somebody else or... Um... <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I think exhilarating is the word. The tone of the show is a little is a little different. I mean, the last few shows that I've done have been about facilitating someone else's experience, but they've also been with a focus on um, trying to transform that person a bit or, or teach them something which, from all reports and all intents and purposes, they need to they need to learn. So Apocalypse and Here at Thirty Thousand Feet before that were both about taking somebody who sort of wasn't engaged with life and giving them that uh, impetus to um, to engage themselves more. This is different. This this is not really about transforming the people that are taking part. I think people of that age, it would be condescending and odd to presume to do that. Having said that, they do take a lot from it, and you sort of get that in the show. It's more about really transforming, hopefully, us watching it and our perceptions of older people. That's really where, the, if there is a change that's going to happen, it's hopefully going to happen there, not so much with the people in the show. So that was different. And also just to do something that was uh, light, lighter and uh, more fun, just with a sense of fun. It's a caper. Uh, it's a kind of movie sort of world. Uh, actually, as is, as is Apocalypse, I suppose. But it's definitely a fun caper after the darkness of, of that project.